diet and foods is where people really start to shuffle in their seats. It says, let not any, any. Does that mean we can have some? No. <laughs> Well, it makes you wonder, do, am, I, do, am I reading the same thing that, that other people are reading? Was it only given to me? Or has it been given to us? Light. Let not any of our ministers set and what? Evil. What's the word there? That's a strong word. <laughs> you can't get any more evil than evil. <laughs> Let not any of our ministers set an evil what? Example. example in the eating of flesh meat let them and their families live up to the light of health reform let our ministers let not our ministers look at that word there <laughs> animalize their own nature and the nature of their children That's Amen. Strong stuff. a number of SDA church members do not adhere <clears throat> to these councils mm. which are clear and simple which is a clear which is clear evidence that they do not see the spirit of prophecy as authoritative or abiding by its councils as salvific mm. it's interesting isn't it so therefore they believe they either believe it's not light from God or they believe it's light, but you can ignore the light and walk in darkness and still be saved. Hmm. Interesting. How about you, my friends? How do you relate to the testimony of Jesus Christ? The spirit of prophecy, which is one of the identifying marks of God's remnant church, his faithful people in the last days. How you relate to the counsels I just read on food and diet is just an indicator. Like I said at the beginning, not all Israel are Israel. Mm. Can you see that now? Mm. Just because you come to church each Sabbath and go through the same rituals week after week, just because your name is on the church record and you hold an office does not make you a true Seventh-day Adventist. Or a member of God's remnant church. Jesus said in John, John 10, 27, My sheep, my sheep, hear my voice. And he says, and I know them. How does he know them? When you read on, it says, and they follow me. Mm. Not anybody else, they follow me. What did Paul say? He says, follow me as far as I follow Christ. Mm. First Corinthians chapter 11. Mm. But testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy, which the Bible says in Revelation 1.1, God gave to Jesus to show his servants, God's church, his people, things which must shortly come to pass. And in verse 3 of Revelation 1, it says, blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of his prophecy and keep those things that are written therein, for the time is at hand. Are you keeping those things which have been written in the spirit of prophecy? Are you walking in the light, in all the light? Do you bear the character of God's remnant people that have the faith of Jesus Christ, keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ? Or do you simply have the name? Seventh-day Adventist. And are you just pretending that you're going somewhere? Mm -hmm. Understand this, Jesus is not coming back merely for a people who call themselves Seventh-day Adventists and who go to church each week and have a form of godliness. Rather, he is coming back for a people who because of their love for him are living up to the light which he has given to them and are faithfully fulfilling the gospel commission. When the religious leaders came to John the Baptist and asked him, who are you? 
He was able to give a clear and unequivocal answer. I am the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. Because, you see, he was faithful to his calling. How about you today, my friends? If someone were to ask you right now, who are you? Could you say with complete confidence, I am a Seventh-day Adventist, a member of God's remnant church that is faithfully and fearlessly proclaiming the free angels' messages, the final warning to a dying world. Jesus said in Matthew 7, 21 to 23, I've said it before. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father. How do we know God's will? God's will is clearly expressed in his word. Many will say to me in that day, not a few, but many, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in my name? And have we not cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then he will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Who are you? Are you sure Jesus knows who you are right now? Remember, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Can you hear the voice of Jesus calling you today to be a part of his remnant church, not just in name, but in reality, mm. who have the faith of Jesus, who keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Mm. God's appeal to us today is to examine ourselves in the light of what has been said, to see if we are really in the faith. Mm. May God help each and every one of us to do just that, because truly, we are at the end. Mm. We can see the signs all around us. Mm. Not just when we look at the atrocities in the world and when we look at how prophecies will be fulfilled in the world, but when we look more closely at the church, where God wants us to be, where we are, we can see if God doesn't really come back and wrap up things soon, there probably won't be any, anyone left to receive him. And let me just say this. Another thing that has convicted me that God is definitely wrapping things up and coming is when I see the work that is now going on in this country among Seventh-day Adventists. You won't read about them in the messenger. Mm. But every week, every week, as I showed you slides, people, groups of people, churches, not every church, some churches are waking up and they're out there week after mm -hmm. week, week after week, sharing thousands and thousands and thousands of books are being given out in this country. Never before it's happened in history. When we started out, the books were rotting. Now thousands and thousands and thousands. In fact, somebody senior in our church saying you need to come to us to get some of these books <laughs> because they realize that something is going on mm -hmm. and they realize hold on a second here we're not we're you know this thing is is going on and and we're not reaping the benefits from it in terms of the sales of books and we want to be a part of this as well mm -hmm. so something is happening brother. seeds God. are being sown mm -hmm. Thousands and thousands and thousands of seeds are being sown. And eventually Ellen White says, when those people start reading the book, and they're reading the book, and they start seeing the very same prophecies being fulfilled, these people will flood into our churches. Mm. And they're not going to be shaken out. Mm. And those of us who are shaking are going to be shaken out. So God is pouring out His Spirit upon His people now, right now, and they're finishing the work. Mm. The question is, is he pouring in? Are we being filled with the Spirit? Are we a part of this great movement that is taking place right now in this country? May God help us as we contemplate.
these things. This is our hands, dear Heavenly Father. We want to thank you for your word. We want to thank you for this important reminder. Lord, as we went through all these things, our, our spirits were stirred within us. As your spirit spoke to us, as we, as we looked at these things and as we examined ourselves, please help us where we have fallen short. Forgive us, Lord, and help us by your grace and through the power of your Holy Spirit to walk in the light and to be your true representatives as we see the day fast approaching. Bless this church and bless each and every one of us here, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.